it's Saturday. <laughs> morning I have specific clothes I just shove on. I've got these trousers which withstand a lot of stuff and then a jumper that I put on over my top. I'm Jeff and now we got to get you Here. Sit. Here go. I'm gonna need both hands for this. Yep. Here go. close we live to the park. We literally live over there. Good girl, Penny. Great. Okay, go! And there she go. Usually I bring a toy out with this, which is why she is so insistent about this. But I'm trying not to, because so we can work briefly. This is sort of difficult where she still, still thinks I have a toy, but she won't leave my side. Yeah, not too bad. Let's get back out there. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah. After a run, we head back home. And then occasionally, I might have breakfast. Maybe. And then the rest of the morning is spent playing with toys, watching things, and occasionally I have breakfast. So my mom just called us and we're gonna go and meet her on the beach and my brother is gonna walk to paint them. So either we have the choice to walk to paint them with him, which is quite a ways, um, along the rocks, or we can drive to paint them with my mom, or you know, get a letter from her, and go to town and then wait for my brother. I think we'll do that because I want to go to town and we could do some training and some work. Getting ready to go out, we do a bit of cleaning. Turn off our appliances. Tidy up. No, you should tidy up early. They're your toys. Didn't know how to yet. Plus, I don't really need her to at the moment. I'm also going to get dressed properly. And now it's time to get our stuff. We're gonna need this. Probably just use this lead since we're walking as well. Uh, she's already wearing her collar. We're gonna need a harness for walking. 
and I'm gonna take the hair color just in case. I'm gonna leave these. These. Always take the hair color just in case. And coat. Here we go. This kid said hi to me over the wall from the park as I was coming out my door, and that was weird. That is not something that usually happens. <laughs> and we're off. As we get closer to the beach, she starts to pull more. She loves the beach. I don't correct her too much because she's not working at the moment. So I want her to have a good time whilst also not being too disruptive. It's a little bit of a battle at the moment, but since we live so close to the sea, we get plenty of time to work on it. Wow, my brother was right. That is what you call a tide being out. Unfortunately, I'm not going to let her off because I want to work in town and I don't want all sandy and wet. We just walk around rocks. Penny wants to get off, but I'm not letting her off because mostly because I don't want her turning up to work or sandy and wet. Because what message is that? So, one that says that all the systems dogs are going to turn to work sandy and wet. Also, I don't like sand, but that's slightly slightly lower on my list of priorities. At least I'm pretending it's actually that's the highest one. I really don't like sand. And if I had sand all over my hands, I'd go into century overload and have to go home. And I don't really want to do that right now, so. Also, this is pretty dangerous. I didn't suggest having your dog and lead and see what drops. But um, in this case, it's a thing that's happening. So. We're heading back to the car to wait for them. I slipped on the seaweed on the way back, mind you. So we actually got quite far. And it wasn't Penny, it's me. She didn't pull me or anything. I slipped on the seaweed. But luckily I landed on the seaweed and not on the sand. It didn't really hurt because the rocks are so covered in the seaweed, it's like padding. But the main reason is, if I had landed on the sand, I would have got sand all over me, all over my hand. Then I would have probably had sensory overload and had to get back home. I'll go up here and look and see if we can see him from the cliff. And then we're going to go back to the car, meet him and then go to town. Fire the car. It's a cliff that overlooks the rocks when the tide is low enough that you can climb across the rocks that you can see down there. Over there is Painton, that's where we're going. You can see it all the way over there and following along over there is Brixham. The end of the place is a lighthouse called Berry Head. I live in such a beautiful place and I need to appreciate it more. Although we're not getting a train right now, being this close to the train station whilst we wait for mum and the boys gives us the perfect opportunity to just stand on the platform and do some training. Training. Favourite joke. to be a train coming in right now, so I put my ear defenders on so that we can stand here and listen and watch. <laughs> we finally made it, we're in town. Uh... Mum finally came back, the boys decided all to walk. 
don't know how far they're gonna get and we're finally in town so back in the car and I was ranting on the way back how that fake assistance dog we saw that barked a penny in the shop was absolutely awful and you know just kind of ruined my whole day a little bit and uh, not to mention ruining the reputation and appearance of all assistance dogs especially ones that are not under ADUK because that's a struggle that we still go through and it just really annoyed me that I washed my other dog for barking at other dogs and things exactly what that dog was doing and that lady's just getting away with it and it's just really annoying and I should probably stop ranting because I actually feel like crying because you know how when you work so hard on something and then uh, someone just comes in and they're just like yeah I have a jacket on my dog so we can go for a hand no that's not how it works but we're back in the car and we're safe and um I had a rant to mum who doesn't really, I mean not that she doesn't care or doesn't listen but she kind of just kept saying, I mean she's not wrong, she just kept saying focus on the fact that Penny did amazingly and that woman was awful, <laughs> which she's not wrong, that's that's the true fact, but like just it really sucked and it, it just really sucked and you know who it sucks even more for? It, like it doesn't even suck the most for me or Penny or um, only trained dogs or other charities that aren't ADUK. It sucks most for small dogs, actual small assistance dogs who can actually do their job and it sucks most for them because they're being, now being given the bad name and it sucks for all of us and that one person just thinks they can do something and make it suck for all of us is really sucky, you know? I don't know. Just, I've seen that same dog, that same dog, I've seen it in my park, uh, that coat on. And, you know, I always thought, I didn't want to judge, but I was pretty sure the way it behaved, the way it was off lead with its jacket on. I mean, I know some people do that, so I try not, I really tried not to judge. But just seeing that, that is not an assistance dog. That is not a trained assistance dog. That is not an assistance dog in training. Not that I said in training every, anywhere on anything. Just on a normal lead, on a normal normal collar, by the way, it was tugging against like hell, so you know, dog's gonna break its neck. And just had a again, I'm not judging of the jacket because you can buy a jacket off the internet. And the jacket said assistance dog do not strike, do not shred, and that's fine, you know. And but you know what's not fine? The fact that it was clearly very uncomfortable with the situation, it was pulling, it was dragging, it was growling, it was barking. It yapped at us when we walked really far away from it. Obviously I avoided it and we left the shop very quickly. <laughs> that Penny was brilliant. I am so proud of her. She ignored it, she looked at me, she got a treat. And I guess my mum's right. I should focus on how good she was and how awful that lady was. <laughs> On the bright side, we did get some treats. So, I think she can have one now, being such a good girl. Yeah, I'm gonna need both hands for this. What's that? What's that? We just got back, oh, and it's almost dinner time, but we have time for a quick run in the park because she's been so good. So, let's go! Yeah. 
Oh. She lost it. I think she just lost it. Did you just lose it? I think she just lost it in the river. <laughs> Penny. Well. That's that. That's true. That was a nice one. Oh well. She's gonna have to run around without a toy. And she's just lost it. You silly cat! You lost it! She actually lost it. <laughs> it's not coming out the other side, she's actually lost it. <laughs> Bless. lost that. It went under the bridge and did not come out the other side. Since it was a Kong, it does not float. So, and then I almost got hit on the head by a ball, but the man was very apologetic and did manage to fetch the ball back. So I guess we'll just go have dinner. Sorry pup, you lost it. You lost it. We're laying on the floor tonight because I feel dizzy and ill. So she's laying next to me. Look she does that. Watching dragons. I might play some PlayStation. And it's half six, I believe. So we'll just chill out. Then we'll go out around ten. I'll take her out for the last wheeze. And then we'll get into bed. I think I'll probably end the vlog here because the rest of it's boring bad stuff. It hasn't really been that interesting day. Um, it was an okay day though, I guess. And that was a day in the life of us. A good day on a bad day, I might not do anything. Not a great day, just just the average good-ish day. And um, yeah. There you go.